Hey, this is Sarah, your Socially Awkward Seller, and I'm coming to you with a haul video. Um, today is Tuesday, July the 6th, and yesterday, uh, Valley Thrift had their 50% off sale in observance of 4th of July. I don't know if they did that because the holiday fell on a Sunday, and they're only open six hours generally on Sunday, but because um, usually they have it on the holiday except for like Thanksgiving and Christmas, so I guess they don't. Again, I'm wrong about something. I'm really good at being wrong. I excel at it, quite frankly. Um, so I spent $77. I did buy some things for myself. Um, so I probably ended up spending about $60 on reselling, which is not that much. But um, I did have to remind myself to not buy crap just for the sake of buying crap because that has been my emo, my mo, um, in the past. It's just, you know, oh my God, this is only 50 cents. This is only a dollar and I just buy it anyway. And then I end up with a bunch of stuff I have to donate and uh, it's just a waste of money. So I try not to do that so much this time. I didn't guarantee anything. I'm not gonna guarantee that I didn't buy anything that I shouldn't have. Um, and I'm gonna say, let's see if I can say it. I don't know, you all keep count. I'm not going to keep count, but you all keep count how many times I say this probably won't sell for much or something in that, you know, with that idea, because you know how I do. Um, first thing, um, I paid $2 for this because um, everything was 50% off yesterday. And this is one of those uh, juicer puree, like manual strainer things. Um, and I know that harvest season will be here before you know it and people will be canning tomatoes etc etc and um they will want one of these this is actually a pretty decent one um it is stainless steel on the inside plastic on the outside it does have a lid on the bottom and it's got um it's got these i'm sure that could use to uh lay it over a bowl and i bet you could even use them for legs as well um Plus, it's got a couple of accessories in it. So, um, I should be able to get my two... Oh, it's an OXO. It's an OXO. An OXO, if you will. So, it's a pretty decent brand, too. I didn't even notice that yesterday. That's shocking, isn't it? Um, this will pay me back most of the money that I spent yesterday. This is one of those Tupperware steamers and uh the purple one although this one is heavily used usually sells for somewhere in the 30 to 40 dollar range um this one does have the cone um generally i buy these in a five piece this one is pretty nasty i may not be able to scratch everything i just said i may not be able to sell this one home but i will sell the parts because um, the main bowl uh, has some schmutz in it that, you know, how plastic gets melted a little bit. And um, let's see how much more noise I can make. Anyway, um, I paid a dollar fifty for that. So I st still should be able to get somewhere in the neighborhood of $30 to $40 out of it, even parting it out and I'm being unable to sell that big um, bowl. This is a lot of Jolie's transfers. There's 10 transfers, uh, transfer sheets in each um, package. I got four packages of them and I paid $1.50 for this. I don't know what these will sell for, but they probably won't sell for much. Uh, but with them being a multiple, I thought that that would be pretty easy to list, even if they only bring six or seven dollars each. Or maybe even not that much. I got two of these and I paid $3.50 each for them. This is by Martex and it is a flat sheet with a pretty cool pattern on it. Uh, reminds me of like 90s, maybe early 2000s even. Um, but I got two of these that are exactly the same. It is a full flat sheet. Or flat full sheet just depends on how you look at it I'm just saying um, and uh, I'm hoping that those will bring me about $20 each um, 
So, and again, a quantity listing, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, I paid $1.50 for these, and these are those cork back um, placements. These are kind of smallish because apparently I eat in a much bigger plate than these plate placemats can accommodate. Um, but these are Irish pubs. Um, it's a set of six. Let's just pull one out to see if they're all the same. No, they're not. Um, I really like these. I can't read the artist name because they, they sign their name all artisty, and uh, so I can't read it, but these are really cool. I don't know. I may be able to get 20 bucks out of these. I may be able to get more, I don't know. I just sold those cork can uh, coasters that I had um, with the wild wildflowers on them for 10 bucks, so maybe I can get a little more for that. Uh, I paid $2 for this. Uh, it is a train uh, clock. Uh, by the the C Star Clock International Incorporated. Um, this is from 1995. No clue if this works or not. Um, I don't even didn't even check the battery compartment to see if it it's a little rusted in there. Um, I have my doubts, but somebody still might want this just for the um, just for the novelty of it. I don't know. I didn't look this up, of course, because why would I do that? Doesn't make any sense. Looks like there might be some things missing off of it, but uh, again, if somebody's, I don't know, that probably won't sell for much. Um, I decided I needed to start watching the Harry Potter movies because I've never even seen one. Uh, so I bought these two movies and uh, this wonderful Twilight Saga Eclipse movie with the incredibly talented Kristen Stewart in it. Um, God, I, I don't like those. I, I didn't like those movies at all. I, 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 don't, I don't like them. Anyhow, okay. That's my best Kristen Stewart impression. And I, don't, I don't do impressions very well. Uh, and Talladega Nights, which is a funny movie, but I'm a child, so... There you go. Uh, and I paid a couple of bucks for those. I thought this was so cute. Remember when I said I didn't buy any things just for the sake of buying them? And, and I didn't buy things because they were a quarter. Because, well, this was a quarter. But I thought it was a cool kind of funky homemade plush dinosaur. He does have a little fading to him. Uh, I'm going to throw him in the wash. Clean up the felt a little bit on the base. I'll probably get... 10, 10 or 15 bucks for him, I'm hoping. And if not, well, you know, I'll suck it up, buttercup. Uh, Dolly Mamas. This is a cute little cross-stitch kit. It says the possibilities are uh, endless. Then it says in French, the possibilities are endless. So, uh, okay. I paid uh, 70, no, 50 cents for this. Probably a $10 cross stitch, depending. Let's see. Um, bought this bag of stuff. I paid $2.50 for it. Um, there's not a lot of good stuff. I don't know that these are worth anything. Um, but I, I will look those up. They're addicted. This is a sample pack from Nasture. And that sounds nasty. Uh, but anyway, that's probably not worth anything, but it might be fun. It's a plain yogurt mask uh, for your face. Why's it gotta be plain? A lavender sugar scrub, who cares? Um, here's a bar of Secret Jewel soap. Why do they call it that? Secret Jewel. Is there secret jewels inside? 
Hmm, I doubt it. Okay, moving on. Um, and then there's some, your basic uh, hotel shampoos and stuff. However, this is why I bought it, because I thought this might be something uh, that'd be worth something. You can tell by the, the industry jargon that I use that I know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know why I don't have a bigger channel channel than I do, that I that I do, um, just based on the fact that I know everything about eBay. No, this is Paul Mitchell um, heavy hitter deep cleansing shampoo. Typically, his pot products are a little expensive, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I thought it would be worth a shot. But you know how. My shots are sometimes not worth. Um, I paid money for this, a uh, dollar for this, and it's got ornaments in it. This is a child's fifth Christmas. Very cute. Um, is it dated? Nineteen ninety-five. So this would be good for Holly. Holly was five in 1995. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna give her that, because you know. Uh, here is, well it's broken, so maybe it's an old rugged cross now. But a cheap ornament that has glitter all over me. Um, but I picked it up because it's got this cute Barbie um, ornament, and it's actually an Easter collection. So, for an Easter tree, I suppose. Springtime Barbie. Um, 1995, so it's 20, what, 25 years old? 26 years old. Uh, and here is, um, baby's third Christmas, 1993. Anyway. Yeah. I bought a box, so a bag of rocks. Okay, <clears throat> so I paid $2 for this bag of rocks. Hear me out. <clears throat> I know it's rocks. But it's got this really cool, like, geode kind of thing in it. Isn't that cool for a rock? Rock on. Anyway, so I don't know if that would be worth anything. Probably won't sell for much. Um, but also in here is this pink sphere or peachy and a pink crystal and a little smooth what rock. That's kind of cool. And a little blue rock. That's that's kind of cool too. I like a rock. Then uh, there appears to be some Hindi, like Happy Buddha kind of little necklaces or something. There's four of those in here. But again, maybe something, maybe nothing. Yeah, I bought some brass uh, napkin rings. I don't know, not so much. Okay, I brought the. I bought this brass bucket. I think it's probably a planter, but I'm not really sure. I don't know. It's not a, It's not really shaped like a coal bucket. I don't know if it's an ash bucket. Um, not really sure. Uh, it's got these little notches. One on this side, and then the opposite one is on this side. And I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, no clue. Uh, if you know what this is, let me know. I paid two bucks for it, I think. Yeah, two bucks for it. And I do okay with brass. So, um, I thought I would pick that up and just, and just see. Speaking of brass, I got another one of these bows. I think I paid 
Well, I paid $1.50 for it, and I think I sold the last one for about $12. <laughs> um, I picked this up for two bucks. This is um, actually a better Target brand. Um, it's kind of rough hewn. I wish it was not so rough. I wish it was more um, like sanded and tongue oiled, but um, we'll see what I can get out of that. Again, $2 for that. All right. I bought some more ornaments. Uh, $3 for this pack of ornaments. And um, it's got three in here. It's got this little it's like a little chair with a gift sitting on it and it's called special friend special friends and it looks like it hasn't been opened um, dated 2003 and then it also has a margolin baskin bas bastin bastin because Carol Baskin killed her husband um, anyway, it's nature sketchbook, cute little birdhouse ornament. Uh, this one, um, uh, is dated 2003. Uh, her stuff usually does pretty well. So, we'll get that listed. It also looks like it has not been taken out of the box, but I bought all of, all of these ornaments in this bag for this one. Because look at that. It's rainbow bright and starlight. How cute is that? This is not vintage, it's 2004, so it's about 15, 16, 17 years old, if I do the math. But it's the best, and uh, I like it a lot, all the time. Uh, but I really, you know, you know how nostalgic I get. You know, I watch the TikTok, and there's kids on there trying to like dress like the 80s and stuff. I think it's so cute. They don't know. Um, I picked this up. This is Brutus and he is the the Ohio State University's mascot. And uh, his head is a buckeye in case you're confused. He is not a black man with white face or any of that, which would be weird. Um, Anyway, um, I got this because, for one, it's Brutus, which, but that doesn't always mean I'll pick something up. Uh, but this is a Build-A-Bear with the clothes, with the, you know. So I thought maybe this might be worth something. And I paid $1.50 for a Brutus. Um, let me explain. Uh, this is a Tivana Perfect Tea Maker. This is a new one. I just need to fix the bottom. And uh, I should get about... 15 bucks out of this, I think. I paid two dollars for it. So again, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not, uh, you know, hitting any huge home runs, but you do what you can. And that's the thing about, you know, doing this job wherever you are. The, the thrifting is just not quite as good here. Um, and well, the thrifting here isn't very good. I went to Cincinnati for this, and of course there were a ton of people in the store, um, but uh, I can only buy what's there. So, um, you know, as, as I, I'm always expanding the, the scope of things that I buy and trying to new, learn new things and, and kind of hone what I'm doing, I can only buy what's there. I have been uh, looking at high bid auctions and stuff, but... I can also only buy what's there. So I bought this thinking it was a Ninja Turtle. It is not. Look at that face. That's a Lego. This is a Ninjago costume, but I paid 50 cents for it. Yeah, no. What you gonna do? I think I bought one of these once before and then ended up donating it, but this one is a Tide Buzz and it's got some refills with it, so I thought it would be a safer bet. Two bucks for that. And who knows, I may end up donating that too. Who knows, I can't say for sure. Um, I paid $2 for this. This is a Kitchen Mate stick blender, food processor, and um, 
uh, it's in pretty good shape, but it has some accessories with it. I probably will end up parting that out. This is a Fiskars Mini Shape Boss. It's for embossing. You see what they did there? And um, I paid a dollar for this, and it may not be worth a damn thing. Not worth a damn thing. Um, I picked this up. My daughter said, why did I pick this up? Um, because I said, I really like the um, Greek key pattern that's on the side. And she was quick to point out that not the Greek key pattern. No. Um, but still, I like it. And uh, I told her that it probably would be easy to pop the bottom off of this. Because, you know, somebody has made this and uh, replace that um, cross stitch and she said somebody worked really hard on these god parrots and that I probably shouldn't do that so I probably will list this for sale uh, I paid a dollar fifty for it and what else just a few other things picked up this bag for three dollars and fifty cents um, it's like a lot of these hair care products, and they are all sealed. This Maxim, I think these, because um, there's different, it's all Maxim, but, ooh, that one's leaky. I'll have to clean that up. Ooh, it smells good. Anyway, uh, they'll bring between $10 and $20 a bottle, just depending on which ones are there. And then um, the shampoos, I think, are closer to $20. And then there's this extreme hair therapy. Uh, I think these conditioner, there's a shampoo. Yeah, these are both conditioner. I think these go for about $12 a bottle. And uh, I also picked up this bag that I paid $3.50 for. And I bought it because of the Moroccan oil um, that's in it. That's the conditioner. That's the shampoo. And I think these go for about $25 for the pair. And then there is some Freya, I believe is how you say that, um, shampoo and conditioner, body wash. I don't know if this is a like just a small kit or if this is a hotel brand I don't know uh, I'll have to look it up but there is all three of those and they're pretty good sized bottles so I don't think I don't think they are hotel brand and then lastly in here is some uh, Revlon color stay uh, foundation um, compact makeup and concealer but I wish it was my shade. It is much too dark for me. Um, just maybe two more things here. Uh, I picked up this for $2. Uh, it's just a bag of junk. Um, it, uh, it has a sealed Wilton cookie press in it. Uh, probably will sell for about $10 or $12. And then this will end up going in my uh, flatware lots. I just sold a flatware lot for $71.99. Um, look at this little tiny. Greater. It's greater than you are. Um, and then this, this is kind of cool. This is made by Farberware, and it's like um, one of those, they call that zester. Uh, it's zester than you are. Okay, I worn that out. Uh, but it's got this little plastic thing on the, the back that you can um, use to measure how much zest you've created. Let me tell you, when I'm creating zest, this wouldn't hold it. Uh, moving on. Okay, 
just one more thing um, is this corner keeper and it's House of Lloyd. I paid $4.50 for it. It's sealed in the package and it is heavy. Ugh, so heavy. Um, but I'm hoping, hoping that I can get $25, $30 for it. Um, it is wood. It's made of wood. It's from 1990. And it's got those three jars with it. So cool. You know, very cool. I'm so cool when I'm buying this stuff. Anyway. Yeah. So that was my haul. And uh, I am going to sit and list um, today, probably. Most like there's a chance. Um, I'm going to work through some of this stuff so that I can get it over to the storage unit without taking it over to the storage unit, sitting it in there, forgetting it's there, and then having to go back and rifle through it to bring some stuff. I'll just go ahead and try and work through this. It's not that much. Um, and uh, I'm still trying to build my business. You know, that's what I've been doing for the last, I don't know what, five, six, eight years. And I keep tearing it down and building and tearing it down. It, yeah, so it's time to build it again. Um, I am 32 listings away from 800, and my goal is 1,800. That's a f metric butt ton um, from where I'm sitting. So, uh, I, you know, I just got to keep plugging along on that. Sales are still kind of slow. I only shipped seven this morning, which for a holiday weekend is really slow for me. Um, but I just didn't get anything yesterday, and I'm running sales, I'm running promoted listings, and I've listed. So I don't know what else I can do at this point, except be patient and keep working. That's all any of us can do. But I need some vacation money. Vacation. Um, so, and, and other money, too. Not just vacation. Anyway, that being said, just remember that the dream does work. When you do, not so much when I do, but when you do, so keep dreaming, keep working. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.